Hey love bug. Hey, how you doing? All right, I need to get myself situated because I want to sit somewhere comfy. Hi! Oh my gosh, okay, so I used to do content forever ago. Like I used to do YouTube videos so long ago and I stopped doing it because I got super self-conscious. But lately, I've just been like, I have a lot of words to say and I feel like I can't do it on Instagram. I was avoiding this. I was avoiding this for a long time coming back to YouTube because I was scared. You guys are scary, okay? But honestly, no, it wasn't you guys. It was literally just my brain and how I wrote myself off before even giving myself a chance. And that's the tea. And that's the tea, you know? My little cafecito, give me a second. Today we're talking about something fun. This video is going to be about the do's and don'ts that I learned this summer, things that I loved, bathing suit styles that I liked, um, summer essentials, etc, etc. So let's just hop on into that, shall we? So I understand that summer's almost over and I'm kind of confused as to where to take my page, but I want to give you guys some insight on what I learned this year. So first things first, sunscreen. My favorite sunscreen is the Super Goop Glow Screen. I feel like it just, it makes you look like you're wearing makeup when you're not and i love that and it's skincare and it's protecting you from the sun and it makes you look really pretty so that's personally me i do have oily ish combo skin but i love it so much it doesn't make my face feel like gross or anything so i feel like it's perfect for me especially since when i turned 25 i feel like my entire genetic everything changed because now at 25 i feel like my skin is like it's becoming a lot tougher to deal with because i started getting like more hormonal acne and didn't really understand why but it's because my hormones are trying to rebalance themselves because I just hit a new age. When it comes to body I don't have a preferred sunscreen I just get whatever is cruelty free. I used to not wear sunscreen or SPF on my lips. That is so bad. Earlier this year I was at my pastor's pool and we were swimming and my lips got so sunburned. I've never been sunburned up until this year. I guess I just wanted to keep my butt outside I guess but I got so sunburned, it was so bad, it hurt so bad. So I was like, I'm never doing this again. My lips were like in pain, they were like chapped and peeling. I was like, this has never happened to me before. So I finally tried an SPF lip balm. Game changer, game changer. But what you guys probably really came for, I'm gonna be giving you guys some insight on bathing suits that I think are worth it. Some that I liked, some that I didn't like. So first things first, I'm gonna start with Snoga. Snoga Athletics. You guys love Snoga. Okay, so we're gonna be raw and real today. I love my Snoga bathing suit. I love it so much. It's the blue one that has like the little faux wrap. I love it. I love it. I took it to Italy with me in April and I put that thing on. I was like, this is so comfortable. The only downside is that I wish it came with leggings, but I wore some other leggings that didn't match the color of it and it didn't hit it didn't hit the same i'm gonna be honest i wish snoga would have made like the same color tights to wear under that maybe got to your knee that would have been the cherry on top but i'm gonna give that bathing suit a 7 out of 10 and i let all of my friends borrow it this summer so i don't know if snoga's gonna be doing a sale but if they do hop on the trend you guys need that bathing suit it is actually perfect and i feel like i size up because i don't want it to be super tight on my body so i got a large the large fit like a large. It actually was like even more roomy than I expected. So it was perfect for me because I don't like super bodycon stuff. So it was great. So staying on modest bathing suits, the next brand that I'm going to be talking about is Camp Claws. I absolutely love Camp Claws. I feel like a lot of their clothes is hit or miss. I will be honest. I actually got some Camp Claws bathing suits and I'm going to be honest, I did not like them. I was not crazy for them. I don't think that the ones that I tried on were actually even comfortable. I put them on and every time I sat down the skirt would kind of like ride down so it was annoying because I had to keep pulling it up and then whenever I actually went swimming I was swimming with my church friends and I stood up and it suctioned to my body and my friends were like mm, sit down <laughs> so I had to sit down and wait for somebody to bring me a towel I was like this is embarrassing <laughs> I really do love Kemp Claws, but I do not think that their swimsuits were what hit this year, I'm gonna be honest. But I will say I love their skirted legging, and I'm gonna link some of my favorite ones below, and just regular items that they have. Kemp Claws has some bangers, okay? Bangers! Maybe next year they bring out some more bathing suits and I try them out for you guys, but it was not my favorite. It was not. I'm sorry. It wasn't. So the next bathing suit brand that I tried was Modex Swim. That was one of the first ones that I tried this year. And I actually 
posted it in a black version and I loved it. I loved it. You guys loved it. You guys ate it up. The one that I tried on in black was a medium, not my size. Don't like how it fits. It was too tight. So I got the large. The large fit a little bit better. So I actually got the orange one and I loved it until I was in the Bahamas and I stood up and my bathing suit was see-through. That was embarrassing. And you know what? I go through the embarrassing moments so that you guys don't have to <laughs> because it's <laughs> bro, bro. Like why, why am I gonna let you guys go through it if I, if I already went through it? So I'm not, we're not doing that. So anyways, I stand up and my skirt was see-through. So the first time it was a little backyard pool, okay? The second time I'm at a beach at the Bahamas. Luckily there wasn't a lot of people. But I'm being tossed around by the waves and I wasn't wearing leggings under it just because I thought that the skirt was gonna be fine. Wrong. I was on the north side of the Bahamas, which apparently if you're in the north side of the Bahamas, you are gonna get trampled. Like you're just gonna get murked by these freaking waves okay i didn't know that it was it was an interesting time i'll tell you that at one point the wave used me as like the bowling ball and my friend giselle and emily were like the bowling pins so at some point the wave pushed me like crashed me into their legs and then they just like front flipped it was crazy bathing suit super cute 10 out of 10 i loved it but i would only wear it with leggings from now on because that is not safe it is not safe to wear just as a skirt if you're wearing the cover up with it it's super pretty but if you're wearing it just as a skirt and a bathing suit unfortunately it's not going to be your best friend their one pieces are solid i think the bathing suit that had like the bat wings was really really pretty but it kind of concerned me a little bit because in this area I did have to safety pin it because it was super low cut and then whenever I raised my hands it just showed like my armpit and like the bottom of my arm and you guys know I'm a little bit more modest than that so I tried Formentera Swim. I liked it because of how pretty it was. I swam in the one piece and I thought it was cute um, but the skirt was just too big. I got the size large in the one piece and I got a large skirt because obviously I'm gonna get the same size thinking they were gonna be similar in size but the large was literally falling off. Like, I should have sized down. So if you guys are gonna purchase from Formentera, I like the bathing suit. I wasn't too crazy about it. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, the best thing in the world. But the skirt was gorgeous. If I could purchase that on its own, I would, but I would size down to a medium. So if you're a medium, size down to a small. So I wish I would have known that before. So now moving on, we're gonna talk about Esther Rumi. I tried, I believe it was a very colorful top with a peplum skirt. Guys, that peplum skirt has been on rotation. Rotation. I think because of the fact that it's peplum, it covers like the lower belly area and it covers a lot or like a portion of like your behind but whenever i put that skirt on i feel like i'm like extra covered because it has like extra fabric that will cover the rest of your body and whenever you get out of the water it doesn't suction into your body even though the skirt might be a straight skirt and that might suction a little bit you have this extra like protection that kind of like keeps you modest and I love it. Seriously, I think if you're gonna buy any skirt from any brand, I highly recommend getting the Esther Rumi skirt, the peplum one specifically because it's perfect and it comes with leggings that are the exact same length as the skirt so it like matches perfectly. And if I could get three more for next year, I will. So hopefully they have a sale soon because... <sighs> Coffee break. Okay, so now moving on to Lyra Swim or Lyra Swim. This is my top number one bathing suit for one pieces. Why? The bathing suits have a latch at the bottom in like the crotch area where it has like the little hooks. So whenever it comes to removing your bathing suit or putting it on, it is so much easier because there's hooks amazing to be able to put it on and take it off it prevents the hassle it's just so freaking smart all of my bathing suits from this brand amazing quality the leggings amazing quality i have never tried swim leggings before because all i would use was like athletic wear but when i tried their leggings i was like i understand because they're thin so whenever it comes to drying off they dry a lot quicker than like athletic leggings which makes sense obviously but i had never paid attention to that i didn't think that i would need like a separate bathing suit legging for the price point you're getting an amazing material but you're also getting something that is like well thought out so i think that like props to them they did absolutely amazing now when it comes to the skirts i don't like them 
I think they're too short. My modesty is definitely a lot more covered than that. It'll cover like your butt, I would say. But then when it comes to the front, I feel like it kind of comes up and across. So it shows more of your legs. And I don't feel that to be modest for myself. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that they were longer because that would cater to an entirely different audience that it likes to be a little bit more covered. And that's definitely me. So when it comes to one pieces, like I said, Lyra Swim takes the cake. But if you want something that's a little bit more budget friendly, I highly recommend Amazon. I have an entire swim section on my Amazon storefront that has basically everything that I'm talking about. Like I've purchased so many different things from that list. And some of the bathing suits that I actually actively reach for are at Amazon because all of them are black. So what I've noticed with my Amazon ones with the brands that I've tried is that they pill very very quickly and i haven't had any of my other brands do that yet i would give the amazon ones like a try if you need something that's in budget but if you can splurge a little bit i would recommend getting something from lyra swim as a one piece getting matching leggings and then if you're gonna get a skirt i would try like a shurumi specifically the peplum skirt so also if you're looking for a budget friendly skirt Amazon has some amazing ones and the brand is Bayleaf if I'm not mistaken and it has like attached leggings and it gets to your knees. So that was basically my review on the swimwear section, specifically the bathing suits because I want you guys to actually put your money towards things that are worth it. So I'm going to be adding all of those links in the description box so make sure that you go and check that out if you would like. So moving on from there, when it comes to shoes, honestly I haven't purchased any of the Birkenstock brand Birkenstocks but I would have probably purchased just another pair of those maybe a, like a white pair uh, but I just stuck with my trusty like target version ones they were like the rubber ones that dry super fast I love those they're like my Birkenstock dupes I think they did the job perfectly so if you're looking for a pair of summer shoes I highly recommend those I just think they're so genius you know you slip them on you take them off they're perfect now to finish off I'm gonna talk about some beach hair essentials after swimming every single time I went swimming I would use rosemary oil I would do like a two minute scalp massage right before I got in the shower. But before that, to prep my hair to get into the water, I use the bread hair oil. Whether it's salty or whether it's chlorine, I think that you have to take care of your hair before you get into the water. Ugh, do it. Oil your hair before and then put it in braids. Figure out how you're gonna do your protective style and take care of your hair, especially your ends. If you do at any point have an issue with flaky scalp, never have I had dandruff in my life. I've had dry scalp for a long time and I deal with that quite frequently, but when it comes to dandruff, that threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that, I'll be honest. So after I got my braids taken down, all of my hair was just super flaky, it was so different i had never had that before so i had to start using head and shoulders but it worked just oil your hair rosemary oil before you take a shower and oil your hair before you get into water please so spf oil your hair and then make sure that you have a solid bathing suit to be able to have a good time while you're swimming and you're not like worried about what you're looking like or if you look busted or whatever because you don't need to do that i already went <laughs> i already went through that another thing a hack and you guys are gonna love me for this my assistant actually purchased this for photo shoots a piece of fabric that has like a little stretchy part where you put your head through you just put it on and it like covers your entire body and it's easier for like people to change like in public and stuff like that it is perfect for the beach it's less than 15 bucks i think it was maybe like ten dollars or eight dollars it's amazing you know whenever you put the little towel situation you're like hanging it up and you're like trying not to look to let the person have their privacy you won't have to deal with that anymore all you have to do is buy this little thingy majiggy it's on amazon i will link it down below so that was my video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm excited to be back because i'm able to like bring you guys more information and like that makes me really happy so i hope that this helped because just because I already went through it, I don't want you guys to have to go through it. If you have any questions that I didn't answer today, feel free to send me a DM or comment down below and I will get to it for my next video. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye.